Oui. <rire> wow. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Post Malone. What's going on, brother? He's fresh off the Purpose Tour. Justin Bieber and his debut album, Stony, is set to drop on December 9th. Yes, Post, sir. welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me, brother. How are you with hot food? I mean, I like it. I don't know how I feel about about this whole setup over here, like the with the Mega Death sauce. I mean, I really feel it in my stomach. I feel like it's just gonna be a hell of a trip and a hell of a trip to the toilet later. I'm ready to get weird. Boneless wings for Post Malone. Come on. Only the best. I'm, I'm very lazy. I have very dainty fingers, delicate fingers, so I can't really <laughs> you know, get into that type of stuff. I never tried sriracha. Do you like it? Yeah. Zingy. So you credit Guitar Hero for mm -hmm. inspiring you to learn guitar and in a way kind of paving the way for your music career. I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, you know, why play Guitar Hero when you could play real guitar? Right. And you know Prince said that too. As long as you develop a love for music any way that you develop it and you take it to, you know, the real world, I feel like it's, you know. I feel like it's the same. Are there any other games that kind of mirror your life? Any other ones that are super important to you? Skyrim. You don't need friends with that video game. You can just get lost and live your life. You can, you're the Dragonborn, bro. You can do whatever you want. It's whatever. That's a great flavor. You burst on the scene in such a fast and extreme way. And when that happens, I sometimes wonder if these sort of on the come up, coming of age moments ever match up to the dreams or the fantasies that you have for them. So I wanna give you some, and then you can kind of tell me if it lived up to the hype or if it was a little disappointing, okay? okay? cool, let's do it. What about your first red carpet? Do you remember that? I remember my first red carpet. It was super um, awkward. Whenever people hype me up or whatever, I feel like I, I don't meet the expectations. So I'm just like, I don't know what, what you wanted me to do. I don't know, it's like Ricky Bobby. Yeah. It's like, what do I do with my hands? How about your first time flying private? That was worth it. I think my first time flying private, I was going to Vegas with Scott and we got the smoke on there and that was <laughs> like a dream come true, so. How about the first famous person to come up to you as sort of like in a fan way? I think, I think my first experience really came through social media, like with Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller. When they started Waka tweeting Faka. out yeah, the SoundCloud yeah, yeah. link. And that was super dope, but I think my first time on the street was on Fairfax. I was just walking down and someone came, took a picture and it's a crazy feeling. That's when you're like, oh shit, <laughs> it's <laughs> really happening. Picante de chili habanero. There you go. How was that one, pretty good? Yeah, that was good. You have the unique distinction of having worked with Kanye West and Justin Bieber, who are a couple of guys, you know, their personal lives, they seem so impenetrable, but people are so fascinated by them. And I know that you're way too much of a gentleman to give me any sort of details, and I respect that. But I do wonder, just seeing the way those guys move, the, seeing the way they work the stage, seeing how they are in the studio, do you see any similarities between the two? They're so driven. Like, they're so driven to, like, a c complete a task. They start something, they're gonna finish it every time. I don't know how he does a show every night for two hours for right. almost a year. Every night, like he's a superhuman. How about two for you, you know, going from kind of playing small stages at South by Southwest to all of a sudden being on the Purpose Tour. Was there some sort of like superstar crash course that you had to go through or did they just sort of send you out there in front of all those people and are like, perform your set? That's the craziest thing ever. Walking out to a stadium audience, right? You don't know if they're gonna like you. The first time I came out there, everybody was singing the song and everybody knew the words to the song. I was so nervous and it never got better the whole time. Really, every time you took the stage, same yeah, feeling? Yeah, no, huh? it's the same feeling, it's terrifying. Because you're in like weird places like Saskatoon. <laughs> right. And like Broken Tree, Iowa. I don't know if that's a place. But, but it sounds like it Yeah, no, it sounds good. I feel like I need to see your bites and see what kind of bites you're taking. So that you can gauge? Mm hmm Or are you like one of our commenters and you think there's like some sort of conspiracy and I'm not even actually taking bites? 
So, I don't know, I'm a conspiracy guy, mm -hmm. but yeah. You are? Yeah. So this next part of the show is called Explain That Gram, and you've seen the show before, so okay. you know how it works. We've done a deep dive on your Instagram, we've pulled some pics that we think need more context. We'll just show you the picture and you tell me the bigger story, okay? Mm -hmm. Laptop, please. Hell yeah. That's a strong man. All right, so this one's interesting. You and Usain Bolt. Yeah. We were in London, and we went to this place called Cirque, I think. He was there, randomly. And it was a weird club. It was like a weird satanic vibe, like people dancing with masks on and really? horns and shit. Next to us, there was a lady with a big ass cloud hat. It was just a cloud with rain coming down. It wasn't a lady, it was a boy, but it looked like a lady. What about? This is Hell great. yeah. You and Toby Keith. You know what? It was one of the dopest nights of my life. It was his birthday. I think we were in Connecticut. SEAL Team 6 was there, the guys that killed Osama. They were all get, got in free and, and everything. And so he invited me on the bus and um, we just drank and played guitar and just jammed for like two hours with, with, the, with the guys that killed Osama bin Laden on, on the bus. We text sometimes, so it's like whatever. It's like, <laughs> whatever. You and Jaden. Yeah. I look fat. Jaden looks good though. That was on the purpose tour at MSG and they were tripping. They didn't want to let me backstage because they were like, who's this homeless person? I didn't say that, but, but that's, that's what they you were could read it. I said, hey, I'm opening for Justin Bieber, dude. So if you could like just let me in, bro. This is interesting. You and Justin Bieber, the fuck you post cups set up. Did you yeah. guys set up the cups? The cups were they already set up? I didn't do that. He did that. Justin's He's a little prankster, a little gooster, gaster. Okay, tell me about this um, prank. These, it took him some time. It took him at least an hour. He put some thought into it, really some time. There's like full-blown art no, direction. There, there, no, there's art. This is art. Like, we wanted to make this a, a mixtape cover or something. He got me good. I still haven't got him back yet. I think I'm gonna steal his dog. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. There you go. <laughs> Watch out for Esther, man. Yeah, Wherever yeah. you at. I got you. You know what? This ain't a bad sauce, kid. Thank you, that's Post. Good, Thank you, Post. That's, and that's a good sauce. I respect your aesthetic. What do you think of the bottle? What do you think of the design? I think it looks great. I think it's minimalist. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going for. I think it really speaks for itself. Um, it's got a great texture. You're a guy who started getting tatted when you really started making money and drawing eyeballs and just judging by what I'm looking at right now, that ship has definitely left the port. Do you still have, what do you have, four fa Do you have four faces or do you, have you added some? I have some? five now. You have five now? Yeah, um, this one's still healing. This is George Harrison. So that must be new. Yeah, that's very new. Do you know who's next on your fingers? I want to do uh, Hank Williams Sr., um, Jim Morrison, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Bankroll. I, I think I might, I might have to take this one, do one here and do one here just to fit all the legends on me. I got on my Steve-O wave. Okay. So I got me tatted on me. Really? But it's more of a, I have a picture. Does somebody have a picture? It's, it's me on a horse. It's not done yet. It's me on a horse. It's subtle. It's not like it a big It doesn't sound ass, subtle. It's not a big ass picture of my face on my back or something. It's like, it's so we, we found a picture of a guy on a horse riding. And oh, all yeah, right. and we just put my so face is, on it. But it's tiny. It's like that big. This it's is not, not that subtle. Ignorant. This is not that's subtle. subtle. That's Could subtle. Could you hold this up to that camera? That's subtle. You should see. It's like this big. It's tiny. <laughs> and nobody would notice unless I told them. This Maruga is blood orange scorpion pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. It's quite a title. I love how you just jump into it. At this point, you hate your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Post. I don't like it. Now you know what's happening. I don't like it. Now you nope. get it. Now you understand it. Yeah, that's good. All right, Fuck. so once again, I'm gonna bust out the laptop because we got more pictures to look at because whenever you take pictures with animals, the internet goes crazy all over the internet. It's too much cuteness. It's so much cuteness. So what I'm gonna do is once again, show you some of these pictures and you can tell me uh, what's happening, okay? Who this animal is and how- I feel happen. it in my asshole. That's a large crab. So this is a large sea creature. <laughs> we were in Maine. Yeah. We were in Maine, we just had done a show. I, he said, yo, we make a shitload of money doing uh, lobsters. Not doing lobsters, but like selling lobsters to right. people. So I figured, you know what? Let me go see what it's about. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I want to open up my own lobster shack. Smart. 
So he showed me this big ass lobster and I said, let me hold it. Talk to me about Branson. Yeah, that's my little guy. I want him to sleep all day, but he doesn't. He's full um, energy? Yeah, he's a lot of, he's got a lot of energy. Um, he loves to eat shoes. I know that's typical dog stuff, but. What's he, like the most expensive clothing item he's eaten? He's eaten, he had a, my Gucci loafers. And I didn't really appreciate that one. Mm. Okay. Hitting. Tough one. Oh yeah, it's up in there. Mm-hmm. Give me some of this guy. Mm -hmm. milk. milk will help a little bit. Fuck yeah, dude. It's impossible to do a Post Malone Ugh. interview without talking about clothes. Whether it's gold teeth, it's cowboy boots, it's high fashion, you definitely have a look that's all your own. And I think your fans might be surprised, or at least some of them, that this is not a new development. Is it true your stepmom, she used to have to press your suits when you'd go to junior high? You'd wear suits in junior yeah. high? I had to have I had to have uh, everything on bleak. That's a very interesting thing for someone who's in middle school to do, to come to school every day in a suit. Well, I wanted to be my dad. So I would slick my hair back, I had short hair. Um, and I just, you know, tucked in my shirt. I had everything perfectly pleated and perfectly starched. Um, I was super fly. But how do the kids in junior high treat the kid who wears a suit to school every day? Is that a cool thing to do or do they tease you? Do they make fun of you? <laughs> That's a great question. You know, I've had my fair share of uh, kids used to throw gum in my hair. They used to throw gum in Look your hair. Look at me now, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm eating hot, very hot wings. <laughs> but you know, um, it was tough. I had my own, I was an individual. And people don't like that. Right. People don't like when you're different from them and you go against the norm. This wing is hot. But I respect you because you did it every day anyway. Yeah, fuck it. And I still do shit. I still do shit. Only you can appreciate the genius that is you. And everybody has a genius in themselves. Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna die with the feelings of these people. You're gonna die it yourself. Right. So you just have to love who you are and do what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, rock on. <laughs> Swag. Yeah, it's time for this already? God, Jesus Christ. G are we moving a little too fast for you, Post? No, fuck that. How you feeling? Uh, you know what? Dude, fuck it, bro. Right? <laughs> Dude, fuck Yelling, it. Fuck Dude, it, fuck it. Fuck it. That's what I feel. I'm gonna try to get it in my gullet as fast as possible. So I want to talk to you about Chicken Express. What were you? Were you were you uh, at the register? Oh were you God. in the kitchen? When you worked at Chicken Express, what were you doing? Um, a little bit of everything. I started out as a packer. And a packer, you see the order on the screen. Yeah, fuck this shit. Whoever made this shit. It's a fucking psychopath. Sociopathic. Goddamn. As a connoisseur of fast food, I feel like you're the perfect person to put some of these regional fast food debates to rest. Because the South, I think, you know, a lot of people <laughs> think of the West Coast and the East Coast is kind of like where these are fought, but the Please. South dominates. Please. Are you a Raising Cane's guy or a Zaxby's guy? There's no contrast. It's Raising Cane's all the way. It's, it's got that crisp to, to chicken ratio. And there, I think for me, the Zax sauce is way too salty. Chick-fil-A or Bojangles? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, why? It's like a sit-down restaurant that is fast food. <clears throat> I think it's the best airport restaurant. What do you think of that? Uh, I agree. Agree? I agree with you. You went from Texas to LA, so I think that you can chime in on this one. Whataburger or In-N-Out? Please, bro. Please. In and out is like a fucking little fucking frilly little patty, bro. I need something with some fucking hair on his chest, cuz. How you feeling? It ain't even that hot. It ain't even that hot. Come on, you got me fired up with that Whataburger comment, bro. Mad Come on, you already know, cuz. <sighs> Fuck that win. Mmm. I know you're a lifelong Dallas Cowboys fan. Jesus Christ. Take a lap, Post. Lots of laps in this room. It don't even hurt, though. It don't even hurt. That's the best part. I can't even feel it. What was it like to play Jerry Jones's holiday party? It was fire. 
What do you remember about that night? My dad performing with me. Your dad performed with you at yeah. Jerry Jones's party. What'd you guys perform? White Iverson, my only good song. I think Too Young's your best song. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Fuck you for giving me this wing, though. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, this last wing. <laughs> Use Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage. Mega Death is a great band, and so is Rage. Yeah, but both, both great bands. Well, together we'll see how this smoothie works out. Jesus, that had some bass. We dabbed the last wing. It's sort of a tradition around here. Post, you don't have to if you don't want to. Come on, hit me with it, cut. Oh. Let's go. That's where I thought this was going. My sinuses. Clear it up, right? I've never felt better. That's enough for me. I can't, I'm, I'm losing vision. Does it feel kind of good though? It's, it's sublime. Like, it feels fucking excellent. Whoa. Dude, stop doing that move, bro. You're blowing my fucking brain, bro. All right. I'm spilling everything over here every time I move the table. That's all right. That's all right. It's on us. We have a very wobbly table here. It has been for like 50 episodes. I could put like a piece of paper under there for you. Do you think you could, yeah, do something? Are you kind of handy? I can help you. No, I'm a handyman. All right, I appreciate Same. that. Maybe we'll let you take a look. But before you take the bite, here's my question. It's a very big time for sauce. Cowboys receiver Cole Beasley, too much sauce when he dances. Gucci, worried about getting lost in the sauce. If you don't got no sauce, then we you're lost, mm -hmm. but you can also get lost in the sauce. You got way too much And then sauce. you, saucing on you, right. saucing on everybody. What I want to do <coughs> is while we're dying on this sauce, which happens to be Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage, Who's I want you to take a bite and then try to explain to me what sauce is exactly. When, you're, when you say, I'm saucing on you, what the hell does that even mean? Does that sound good? <coughs> What heck? <laughs> Boobs. Cheers, Post. Cheers, brother. Oh, yeah. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. Yeah. Who the fuck is this dog? I love how there's Jupiter. Now, sauce to me <clears throat> is the way that you carry yourself, what makes you an individual. Um, you know what makes you you, what makes you unique, and what makes you better than somebody who hates you. Having, That's toured, what sauce is. having toured the country, which city has the most sauce? Dallas. Who had the most sauce at Kylie Jenner's mm. birthday? Me. And Kanye. <clears throat> What's your favorite Chick-fil-A sauce? Is it that Polynesian buffalo. sauce? It's the buffalo sauce. The buffalo sauce is the best. Post? You made it through, you cleared the board. It was incredible, it was intense. Did you have fun doing I had it? a good ass time. This camera, <clears throat> that camera, or that camera? Let the people know what you have going on in your life. What's going on y'all, this is Posty. Um, we got an album coming out uh, December 9th, it's called Stony. <clears throat> it's the best thing I've ever heard. I hope it's the best thing you've ever heard. Um, it's lit. Turn up. Fuck this wing. <laughs> God damn. Respect. It's the best.